Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and I make videos about living in Copenhagen. Today is the 100th anniversary of the very, very famous hot dog stands that you find here in Copenhagen. These stands, you can find them all over the city and it is where you can stop for a quick snack of a hot dog around the city. Now, they do various different types when you go to the hot dog stand. Now, if we weren't still in lockdown, I would head out into the city with my camera and I would film myself having one. But in lieu of that, here is a picture of one of the very famous ones that's outside the main station and also um, a picture of me from some years ago actually eating a hot dog. So I'll put those pictures in and you can see them while I'm speaking. Now, when you go to the hot dog stand, there are various different hot dogs you can choose from. Now, the very traditional one, which is the one I'm going to make at home today to show you, um, has everything on it. And when I say everything, I mean everything. And I will run through all those ingredients for you after this little bit of chat. Uh, the other thing is called a Frank's dog, a French dog, and it's a hot dog bun, but it's kind of got a hollowed out middle and they push the sausage in with some sauce. Now they're really, really popular with children because you can make less of a mess of yourself. Now I'm an adult and I make quite a mess of myself with the other ones. And uh, I know people, the first time they've had them, they bite into them and it all slides off what's on the top but so there is a technique to eating them the other thing you might see people having is just the sausage a bun and some squeezes of the sauce and they kind of dip things in and eat them that's quite a traditional way of doing them um, they're really really inexpensive they're normally around 25 to 30 crowns and they're something they don't fill you up they're just a quick snack on the go that keeps you going until you have something proper to eat but they are very 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 traditionally danish and as I say if it wasn't locked down I'd take you out to see one but I am going to make them at home I've just popped to the supermarket so you'll see some footage now where I went to the supermarket to buy the ingredients to make the hot dogs and I'm going to head downstairs I'm going to get it all together prepare all the ingredients and film myself putting that hot dog together to show you that if you're not able to get out to a hot dog stand now I believe they are still open you can go to them but personally I'm avoiding going out too much into the city at the moment whilst we're still in quite a severe lockdown here but yep make them at home so follow along with me um, I'm going to the supermarket and then I'm going to make the hot dog so let's get going Okay, I've headed off to the supermarket to get the ingredients to make the hot dogs at home. You can see it's really easy to get all the ingredients you need in the supermarket. So we've got the buns at the top, then we've got the vena polza, the sausages to go inside it. Now I've chosen ones that are lactose free here, but you can just get regular ones. Then we've got the three sauces you need, which is remoulade, um, mustard and hot dog ketchup. The crispy onions at the top, the gherkin slices and a fresh onion to chop up as well. So there's plenty of onion on this, plenty of sauces. And you may notice that the hot dog sausages are much longer than the buns and, and that's very, very traditional. So I'm gonna gather up this stuff, take it home and uh, make them at home. It's also very traditional to drink chocolate milk with your hot dog, which uh, I'm not a big fan of, but it is something that Danish people do. So here we go, time to make our hot dog. First of all, we put the sausage in the bun then we get the um, hot dog ketchup now this is special because it's got apple added to it so you give yourself a good squeeze of that yep good squeeze of that there we go and then we get the sweet mustard and another squeeze of that now of course you put on as much or as little as you like of these sauces and you know you don't have to have all of them if you don't like them this one is remoulade a very danish um, kind of sauce a little bit like tartar sauce but not quite and we'll put a good squeeze of that now this has given us a sticky base now where we can start adding the fresh onions which I've chopped up here 
So sprinkle those across. You don't want really strong onions. They say sweet white onions. So something like this is perfect. And then we get what they called the crispy fried onions. And you buy those, it's not showing very well here, but you buy those in a tub in the supermarket and get hold of that and sprinkle those on. Again, they're sticking to the three sauces that we've already added. And then the final touch are these sliced gherkins. Now you can easily get in any of the supermarkets any of these ingredients and sliced gherkins are everywhere because obviously they use them for these and open sandwiches. And then you place a row of the gherkins along the top of everything else you have. And here we have it. I think that looks delicious and I'm looking forward to eating it now. And here is a hot dog van on its way to start the day. Now you can see that they actually got a little motor in them and the owner sits on the front and steers it down the road. It goes pretty slowly and it's a sight that you can see most mornings as they go to their uh, spots around the city. Now back in 1921 when the first hot dog van started here there was a small procession of the first six went down Stroll, uh, the walking street in the middle of Copenhagen just to kind of launch this and, uh, and and start it in the city. Now I've put a link down below to an interesting historical article about it. It's in Danish but you can find some kind of translate tool. But if you're ever here in Copenhagen or you live here do look out for this. It's, uh, it's quite fun to see them making their way down the street probably very much like they have done for many many years. Hope you've enjoyed this video and if you're not already a subscriber I'd love you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos and until next time bye for now. Mm -hmm.